should read those. We got uh, landscaping, online advertising, drop shipping, cleaning business, recruitment sales, server, OF agency, NFTs, uh, graphic design and university, carpenter, credit building, university engineering, phone case business, nurse. We got brick laying, graffiti cleaning. It's pretty cool. We got digital marketing, crypto. We got a ton. We got, okay, so we got people in every endeavor of life. This is really good. Here's the thing. I don't care what you're currently doing. Guys, listen to me. You should have another stream of income. If you don't, if you don't have a stream of income, your first stream of income should be a service that you offer. A service that you offer. In order to have a service, you need to have credibility. If you're going to offer a, serv a service first, what you need to do is establish rapport. What does established rapport mean? So you need to figure out what are the things that people consider credible business uh, principles in order for you to be credible. You need a website, go on Webflow. You can get a template for a hundred bucks. You can get a website up and running. You don't have a hundred bucks. You can go make your own on Shopify with a front end and some theme page uh, with some articles and some shit for 29 bucks a month. The second thing that you're going to do, especially if you're running a physical business, is you wanna have your social media in check. I don't care if you're running a fucking landscaping business. I don't care if you're running a digital marketing business. You have to have your social media on check. What does that mean? That means you need to have, if you're offering a physical location type service, you need to be on Google, right? When people look up Google, you need to be on Yelp. You need to be on every place where services are requested and be there trending. The, reason, the way that you get trending is by learning SEO, search engine optimization, if you're not familiar with that, you can look it up. And then you can also rank with paid traffic. The next thing you need to do is your social media profiles, right? You're gonna have your TikTok, your Instagram, and your Twitter, just very basic. Just be there posting on a regular basis. It's gonna give you legitimacy, right? Gonna make you look legit. It's extremely important to do that. The reason it's extremely important for you to do that is because you'll stand out from your competitors, right? Sometimes the difference between the person choosing this other guy and choosing you is maybe the reviews on Google, right? That's what it comes down to. We pick restaurants based off of the reviews that they have. We pick salons, we pick barbershops based off of the reviews that we have. How could you run a successful business and neglect your fucking online reviews? It makes zero sense. So make sure that you are checking yourself in that perspective to run a successful business if not, it doesn't fucking make any sense. People look at online reviews and consider those to be valuable pieces of information. Your ability to dictate what's being actually reviewed on Google is extremely important. You run a physical business, give people a discount with a QR code that leads them and links them to your actual Google profile to leave a review, right? You need to incentivize your people to take action, just like I incentivize you to click like on this video, right? I incentivize you with good content. You do the same. And that's how you build reciprocity with your customers and with your, uh, with your clientele and with the people that perceive you long-term. We are at an hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we talked about the three avenues in which you can make money. The first one is services. You have sweat, time, and manpower that are dedicated into these services. And that is your first service to make money. Your first way to make money if you don't have a massive skill is services. Find a service, write this down, where you're better than others, you're hard to replace, right? You do the job better than other people do it. You're hard to replace. Let me know when you write that down. The skill, right, or service that you're gonna select is a service where what you offer, you do it better than other people. You're hard to replace. And then finally, you need to also remember that manpower is many times all that you have. What you need to do is you need to identify a need. We talked about identifying needs with high value individuals, right? It's easy for you to spot and identify a need. You just need to be able to look for it. The next thing we're gonna have is our physical goods, right? And this is our e-commerce stores, our clothing, our foods, our supplements, right? Physical goods are good, but they require more logistics because now you have inventory costs, management costs, you have shipping logistics, you have customer refunds, uh, you have chargebacks, things of this nature that are outside of your control. Uh, that initially if you had a better business structure, I think that's why I became successful in e-commerce was because I already had some sort of business acumen. Uh, therefore I could come in and just crush my competitors, right? It was extremely easy for us to do millions and millions and millions of dollars a month in sales in e-commerce when all you did was just have a little bit more business acumen than the average fucking 19 year old selling 
on a dumb shit, bullshit ass store, right? It wasn't very hard. Finally, you have your digital goods. And these digital goods, if you were to make, let's say, I don't know, some sort of app and you didn't code and you wanted to start a fitness app. Well, let's say your startup cost on the low end was like 20 grand, right? For server hosting, maintenance, the coders, your fees, your licenses, everything to operate successfully. And you have an MVP, right? Your minimal viable product, but you don't necessarily have a customer base. And a lot of digital goods, whether it's apps or services that are, are used online, uh, it's easy to, for them to, be, uh, to add competitors to it. We just learned today that Disney Plus surpassed, right? Uh, Netflix and subscribers, which we never thought was possible. We never thought that Netflix would be dethroned, but Netflix has officially been dethroned, ladies and gentlemen. It is officially uh, number two. Disney Plus has more subscribers than Netflix. And the reason is because they have something extremely valuable that Netflix doesn't have. What Netflix doesn't have is IP. They do not have an IP that is as valuable as Disney. Disney can just whip up shit 24 seven, just whip it up, send it out, right? Netflix has to spend a lot of money in order to create this IP and bring value to this IP, right? Disney has Marvel. They could be talking about comics and become a comic ass company for the next 20 years and they would have content and content and content. Right? Netflix has to create original content and they have to convert individuals into that IP. They're, these are highly competitive businesses. Digital goods is something that, unless you're doing e-learning of some, of some sort, right? you could start with services and then offer an e-learning version of those services, but then you have to get good at digital marketing. Right? And the reason you have to get good at digital marketing, usually that would come from your ability to run ads or running a store. So I go services, physical products, digital products. That's the way that I make money. Uh, this is the process and flow that I utilize. Hopefully this was valuable to you guys as much as it is to me. I'm teaching, I'm breaking down business in a very simple way. I know people like to use complex systems and things to talk about business, but I think initially you need to be able, be able to break things down to their most basic common denominator. And my job here isn't to sound highly intelligent. My job is to give you practical shit that can help you elevate on a regular basis. That's today's stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hit the W if you haven't hit it already in the fucking comment section. If you've, if you've arrived to this part of the video and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We will be back tomorrow where I'm going to be teaching you guys a couple more concepts on, uh, on money because somebody said it's explain IP, intellectual property. Somebody said, is copywriting a good way to make money? Yes. Copywriting would be a service. IP, I, IP means uh, intellectual property, guys. Intellectual property, IP is intellectual property. Disney owns the intellectual property of Marvel, so they can just put out a ton of Marvel pieces, right? Let me see, let me read some more of these questions. Hi Luke, I'm 19, working for USPS, manage your yard, business refurbish, uh, refurbish furniture, and pay my rent using my rental car cleaning job. What's the deal with What's the deal with loans and credit and how do I work smarter instead? Mm, I don't really understand the question, bro. You're gonna have to ask it a little bit better. Uh, Luke, what's a good legal way to make money with only expertise been robbing and drug dealing? Bro, if, you, if you've if you been drug dealing, then you know how to close deals, brother. You know how to close deals. There's plenty of businesses online that you can find where you're not doing anything illegal or anything. Nothing is worth your freedom, right? Nothing, that's how I see it. Nothing is worth your freedom. If something compromises my ability to be free, I don't touch it. Uh, there's plenty of skills that you learn trapping, that's for sure, bro. I can tell you that from experience. What do you think about growing social media accounts such as TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, etc.? Can you make some money with that? Yes, you can definitely make money doing that, but it's definitely not uh, as lucrative as it used to be. I was doing that back in 2015 when it was uh, a lot easier. But anyways, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the fucking day. I appreciate you. I'll see you here tomorrow. Do not be late. Do not be late. Some of you guys showed up at 7.30. We're here at 7. We're here at 7. Make sure you show up tomorrow. I'll see you bright and fucking early. Somebody said, bro, uh, Luke, can you recommend a book on negotiations? Yes, I recommend uh, a book on negotiations. Should I share what, what it is? I'll share it with you guys. It's called Never Split the Difference. 
Never Split the Difference, that's the name of the book. Never Split the Difference. It's by a former CIA terrorist and te uh, terrorist negotiator. Never Split the Difference. Make sure that you, uh, you're picking it up. I'll